Your hair loss, I'm afraid to tell you, has nothing to do with MSG. Right, and we are here at the food preparation lab. I'm here with Dr. J.F. I just want to start off with something that has always been on my mind since I lost my hair. Is MSG the cause of it? Complete rubbish. The glutamic acid is widely found in many natural foods that you consume. Seaweeds, the mushrooms, tomatoes, grapes. Asian foods have this concept called umami that comes from the presence of monosodium glutamate. It's all natural, absolutely not to worry. In fact, I might recommend you to start eating MSG. Your hair might grow back. Wow. Standing in front of the microwave is bad for you. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So, when a microwave is closed, the dough clicks. It means that the dough is almost well sealed and there will be no leakage of the microwaves out of the microwave. Having said that, sometimes when we put a tray inside, in some part of the tray, the paper might actually stick on the dough and the dough closes and there will be a small micro layer that's open. Right. You see what I mean? Yeah. Then there is a very strong potential for the microwave radiation to come out. Make sure that you don't have any gaps in the microwave when you close the dough and if you find that those are optimized, you have no worry about radiation exposure. If I were you, I certainly wouldn't put my face next to a microwave just to check how it's going on. So, one, one more thing. We like to eat Thai food. You know, we have the vegetables, we have the meat, we have the rice, we have the curry, everything. How do you eat this plate of Thai food? So we have discovered to our amazement that the sequence in which you eat your food has a profound effect on the glycemic or your blood glucose response. The best thing to do is for you to eat the vegetable first, then the meat, and then the rice. The fiber in the vegetable that retards the rate of flow of food, and the protein that stimulates insulin, and both together bobs your uncle. If you gobble your rice first, and then eat your vegetables and your meat later, it is the worst thing to do. In Asia, we are highly predisposed to diabetes and type 2 diabetes in particular. And we are also a nation that consumes a lot of rice. Rice is what's called a high glycemic index food. It increases your blood glucose very rapidly. Mm. The very thing that pre-diabetics should not be eating. Bonus question for you guys. Prof, how unhealthy is bubble tea? Bubble tea in moderation is absolutely no harm at all. Point number one. Point number two is that many bubble tea shops now have a varying gradation of sugar added to it. You got 100%, try and avoid. 30, 40% is fine. Let's look at bubble tea as an alternative to the beverages that are soda type. So whatever we learned about bubble tea, umami and MSG, we learned it over here at the Clinical Nutrition Research Center. The CNRC is a joint initiative between the Singapore Institute for Clinical Services, ASTAR, and the National University Health System. The centre specialises in basic and translational human nutrition research. It's basically the most sophisticated and top nutrition centre in not just Singapore, but also Australasia. 